Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacat. Uh, in this very short video, I'm going to talk about how you can use Dataflow as a remedy for a slow data source in Power BI. Let's check it out. Before explaining about this solution, let me explain very briefly what the Dataflow is. Dataflow is a Power Query process that runs in cloud um, and store the result of that transformation of Power Query into a storage. This storage can be Common Data Services or what is recently called as Dataverse, or it can be uh, Azure Data Lake storage. Uh, if you are using Power BI Dataflow, it is Azure Data Lake Storage. I have um, some blogs already about what the Dataflow is and videos. Go and check those uh, from the link down in the description below. Uh, now, Dataflow can be used in many scenarios. One of them is when you deal with a slow data source. Um, in Power BI, it happens that sometimes you deal with a very slow data source. Sometimes it is because the data source is very slow, like it is a very old technology database. Sometimes the, <clears throat> the connector is slow. Sometimes it's an API with some limitations, which you cannot really get the fast result out of it. Uh, for any reason that this is slow, um, it would cause Power BI refresh to become slow. So in Power BI, if you are a Power BI report developer, you have to wait until this refresh is done uh, so that you can continue building your reports. Or even if you want to get new up-to-date data, it still uh, takes a lot of time because the whole refresh process is really slow. So no matter what caused the data source to be a slow, if that is a slow, your Power BI report refresh would be a slow. Now, uh, you can have incremental refresh in Power BI and, um, and make it a little bit faster with that, but sometimes query folding doesn't happen and that uh, would still be a slow data source. So one solution for this is to use Dataflow as an intermediate storage. Now, this might be just the data flow that uses that data exactly uh, loaded here. So mainly like data ingestion rather than doing any data transformation. Uh, but still, that would help. Uh, the process of loading data from the slow data source into the data flow would be still slow, but because Power BI from that point onward will use Dataflow as a source, the Power BI data refresh would be fast. So from Power BI point of view, things are fast. Still, the whole refresh time is probably not changed if you haven't done anything about the performance of this or the performance of transformation. But even with this, this would be a still a better solution from Power BI point of view because the developer hasn't uh, should not just like wait for a long time for this refresh to finish. Data flow refresh can be scheduled separately from the Power BI dataset refresh. It's a very simple solution, but it is very helpful. I've seen a lot of time that people get data from, for example, Dynamics, and because of so many tables, so many fields, it takes a lot of time to get data from it. Having a data flow would make it much faster. Everything would be much faster from Power BI point of view. I've explained that in another uh, blog and video about uh, using data flow to have your heavy lifting transformation so that it uh, makes the performance of Power BI refresh faster. This is exactly the same thing. I just explained it in a different way. So here it is. It was a short video about explaining how you can use Dataflow to make your refresh um, of slow data sources faster on the Power BI side. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos about Power BI.